and welcome back to the second part on the geometric origin of color. Why is it important? Because it tells us something about the inner structure of atoms which is currently unknown in quantum physics. This may help us to better understand how life functions, among many other things. We cannot see the interior of atoms directly, so we need to interact with them one way or another in order to get some information about their inner structure. For example, in the early 20th century very little was known about atoms when Ernest Rutherford bombarded gold foil with a race of alpha particles, he saw specific refraction patterns. Out of this, he and his co-workers like Niels Bohr were able to construct the first ideas of an atom, looking like a tiny solar system. Later on, through the ideas of, for example, de Broglie and Schrödinger, the atom model became more and more sophisticated. In a similar way, the color spectrum which we perceive as our own senses gives us certain clues about the inner life of the atom. Each color corresponds to a certain wavelength. This so far doesn't provide us with any new insights. But also there lies a structure within the visible spectrum which cannot be detected with instruments, only through individual perception. This is the distribution of the primary colors, and also the peak sensitivity of the retina. The fact that a visible spectrum covers exactly one octave is also interesting. In thermodynamics, energy moves blindly, having no clear direction. So the only thing created is more chaos, more entropy. If life is created, energy moves intelligently, there is a certain conscience behind it, and science has not yet really begun to study this mystery. The interior of atoms is in a state of sentient equilibrium. Energy is flowing inwardly, in a spiral movement, not in circles. The circular movement is the external effect. The creative energy is constantly flowing inwardly, like a vortex. At certain distances from the center, a special equilibrium is formed, which we know as an electron shell. But the creative vortex is moving all the time. As energy is spiraling inwardly, a single step in energy level corresponds to a particular angle. Therefore, the light emitted by an atom can be measured in terms of angles. The complete visible spectrum is covered by an angle of 180 degrees. This means that the primary colors can be identified by a distinct set of angles inside the visible spectrum. But why is that? The medium through which atoms and light waves move has a certain inner structure, which is normally not detectable. As we know in quantum physics, particles, and even complete atoms, by themselves are non-local. The inner structure of space functions as the mechanism to tell atoms apart. This is called heuristical conjugation. It essentially means that there exists a reference frame which enables particles to be detectable with a certain amount of precision. In the case of a primary color, the inner angle of the wave energy coincides with one of the cardinal angles of the heuristical or space frame, so that the strength of the perception is somewhat increased. By taking a closer look at color perception in a scientific way, we can learn a little more about the universe and ourselves.